Jesse T back with you and Dan the man. We are road tripping. Yeah, we just left a great premiere down in DTLA for LA uh, Film Festival. And uh, we decided that uh, we want to do some some road tripping and kind of give you the the cool places that used to be the cool places. but Lost LA. Lost LA, yeah. Right across the street from us on the other side of the camera, and I'll, I'll change it around in a second. It was, it was an area known as the Ambassador Hotel here on Wilshire Boulevard. And the Ambassador Hotel was really the hotel for all the ambassadors of the world. It was one of the best hotels in the world and here in Los Angeles. And uh, all the movie stars of the time went to the Copacabana right there. And uh, uh, they had the, the, the bungalows there, and a lot of crazy stuff happened in the bungalows uh, alongside there. But every major movie star, every major big uh, big band, swing band was there. Uh, Louis Armstrong, every jazz band was there. It was the place to be in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. And that's why they called it the bungalows. Bungalows. Yeah, and so... Uh, we're right across the street. Now it's a uh, Los Angeles Unified District High School. Um, and uh, supposed to be like a magnet school. I'll give you a shot of it real quick here. Let me dump my glasses so I can see what button to push. You can kind of see right across the street there, above those trees, the tree line there. That was the Ambassador Hotel. Now there's another significant thing that took place here in the Ambassador Hotel, other than all the ambassadors and the kings and the potentates and the... And the movie stars and the funaniness that went along in the bungalows and the paparazzi and all that stuff. Another significant thing happened here. This is where uh, candidate Robert Kennedy was killed. Five years after his brother was killed, JFK, he was campaigning here in Los Angeles and he was going to make an appearance here to speak to a, a crowd of uh, donors and participants. And he came through the back way through the kitchen uh, under security and uh, and uh, stepped out into the kitchen. The great football player Rosie Greer, former Giant and Ram. Yeah, he was his bodyguard. And uh, Rosie Greer was a huge man, giant man. Uh, and uh, he came out, and then he got on the podium, and within a minute, bang, 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 bang. Six, five or six shots were shot. They tackled the guy down. Uh, and what was his name? Sirhan Sirhan. And there's and Sirhan Sirhan. Now even to this day, Sirhan Sirhan is still alive in San Quentin, but they say that but he's always pronounced that he was innocent of that of that shooting, that it was a CIA uh, coup de uh, a coup and a CIA setup uh, in terms of that. There's been a lot of investigation about that. They did find more bullets than what were shot. Uh, so there's a lot of question marks there, but the bottom line is Robert Ever Kennedy died right there that night. No, he passed away a couple of nights later. A couple of nights later, but he got shot right there to his impending death at the Ambassador Hotel. So that's another significant thing about the Ambassador Hotel or the school district. I wonder if there's ghosts running around there. There's ghostesses. Ghostesses, man. It's like breastesses. And it's like, don't ask me a question. Oh, wait a minute. That's Who are right. you going to call? Ghost Ghostbusters. Busters. My, uh, my, uh, my Mama T's, Mama T's, uh, prom was here. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I took her on the, the, uh, tour by tour like we just did. But there's something that's other significant that we're going to, that we're going to kind of walk into here, Dan the man and I, and I'm going to switch this back. Okay. Because there was something here that was even here as early as the original Ambassador Hotel. And it was, it's called the Garland Apartments. Gaylord. The Gaylord Apartments. And the Gaylord Apartments, let me clean my camera out here. Hold on. Okay. So you're getting the real deal here. This the is raw and live. Raw and live, man. We're road tripping. Better than Hugh Hauser. Uh, the Gaylord Apartments, I love Hugh Hauser. He was my, one of my heroes, man. I, I, guy was so good. Anyway, the Gaylord Apartments here, which is right here. If you look straight up, it starts right here. Goes all the way up to the top. And this was one of the first apartments for many, many, many movie stars to live in, take residence in. It was across from the Copacabana. It had the Ambassador Hotel. A lot of people coming in here. A lot of people to be seen here. 
and the Gaylord Apartments, a lot of very famous people stayed in the Gaylord Apartments throughout their uh, early motion picture career. Show them some of the insights uh, of the Gaylord. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll walk into the Gaylord here. But one of the other things that happened here at the Gaylord Apartments was this place here. It's called the HMS H -Bounty. Bounty. And this is a great steak restaurant. It's been here forever and ever and a day. And the, the story is, is that Sirhan Sirhan actually had drinks or, or dinner here before he crossed the street, right across the street, folks, right over here, right over there. He crossed the street to kill Robert F. Kennedy. He actually had drinks here just before that happened. That's the story. And also Winston Churchill used to eat here and stay at the Gaylord. See, Winston Churchill used to eat here. And, Tell and, me what was. Uh, uh, World War II, Winston Churchill was the prime minister of uh, World War II, and he was, if it wasn't for Winston Churchill, uh, England would have fall, fell and Europe would have fell. Um, also, here at the Gaylord, uh, uh, Frank, this is one of Frank Sinatra's hangouts. And uh, Jack Webb. Oh, yeah, Dragnet, Jack Lee, Webb. Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin, man, the guy was never sober. You know, Lee Marvin was a bona fide World War II hero. It's a hanging day in Wolf City, Wyoming. They're hanging cat balloon. Yeah, Lee Marvin was a bona fide, hardcore soldier in World War II. And he, he had that personification all the way through. But Frank Sinatra, they had their own booth here. We're going to go in here and, uh, and uh, check that out, the Gaylord. But we're going to go right next door to the Gaylord. So it was cool. <clears throat> so the Gaylord apartment here, the old uh, brass sign here, the Gaylord apartment. And you would walk in. And this is, you know, what you'd see. I got to take my glasses off so I can see something. But you know, you had your formal entrance way right here. All these old uh, hotels, motels, slash apartment residencies had formal entrance ways like this. And then they had a beautiful, beautiful area in which to check in with the high ceilings and all the architecture. Hi, Gaylord Apartments, the home of so many great movie stars and stories and and history of Los Angeles that's been long forgotten. So many terrific things happened here at the Gaylord, and people still live here. And right there, right next door, is the entrance to the HMS Bounty. You can see a lot of the, fi the pictures here of the, some of the early stars. And, and, and some, okay, I'll be down there. So, okay. Some of the stars here that, that uh, lived here. And, the, uh, and uh, the, the furniture is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The old style check in. <clears throat> Dan DeMann is down there exploring. Look at these beautiful chandeliers. Gaylord Apartment is really a historical uh, building in Los Angeles and in the folklore of Los Angeles City. You see all the pictures here, the things that took place here at the Gaylord, and this is the original shot of the Gaylord here. The Brown Derby and JFK. <laughs> JFK and right there. that Louis. Yeah, there you go. Brown Derby is right behind us. The uh, Brown Derby was uh, a restaurant chain that was one of the, that was where we kind of walked up, but there, that Brown Derby was on the corner. And that was a very famous restaurant chain. They had three or four of them around LA, one in Hollywood, one in Los and Angeles. The menu. One, the menu. This is time of a yesteryear that is no longer with us, but you can experience it here at the Gaylord. There's a fountain room at the Gaylord. It's just beautiful and fountain room. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yesterday when I was young. Yes. <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of famous people. I'm going kind of quick. Um, As the song says, Bogey and Bacall. We is. had it all. They stay here at the Gaylord. Gaylord is a very famous place in the history of Los Angeles. There's so many great stories. Some say there's ghosts around the Gaylord. Here's a giant postcard of what the Gaylord looked like in the 20s and the 30s. And they used to have all kinds of fantastic things going on here. This is right down by Bullock's. Bullock's is the original, that was a home corporation of Bullock's stores. They're no longer around. Very, very high dollar stores that all the movie stars shopped at. They, have, they had uh, they have different starlets that were here as a Gaylord Hotel, apartments. And here's a traffic jam, right here. There's a traffic jam. See, Back we, in 1941. We are not the only ones. We are not the only ones that experience traffic in Los Angeles. So. So we're road tripping. And uh, 
we're just kind of hanging out here a little bit, and we're going to go over to the HMS Bounty and see what's going on in there. And they have great food. Great food. You got to check them out. Come on down here and uh, look for more road tripping episodes like this from Dan the Man, the Road Dog King, and, and me. Come on down to the Bounty and ask for Ramon. The Brown Beauty, Jesse T. See ya.